Welcome to Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we believe in the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld of the Brown Blankfeld Group, selling homes in Southern Nevada since 1988. To bring you the three E's, we not only share our experience and knowledge, but that of our expert contributors. We are very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. Like them, we are dedicated to delivering timely, balanced truths for market conditions. Please stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment. Right now in studio, we have Steve Schauer from New American Funding. He's been a lender here in Southern Nevada market for 21 years. Welcome, Steve. Thanks for having me again. One of the things we've talked about in the past is what buyers need to do, but maybe more importantly, what they shouldn't do when they're in the process of buying a home. One of the biggest things that people do is purchase things while they're looking for houses. Selling a car and buying another car. And once I pull the credit report, we're going to pull what we call a soft pull before they go to closing just to make sure their debt situation is the same. Just wait till you close. Which we understand because they're excited about buying a house. Another thing we see is a lot of people switching jobs during the process. Depends on how long the escrow is. They could get a job offer or something like that. That could potentially be hard to do as well. What if I just go to Macy's and they say to me, oh, by the way, we'll give you $50 off if you apply for our credit card? It sounds appealing and all, but the problem is that's a credit hit and that's going to lower somebody's score and potentially hurt their debt ratio in buying a house. There you go. Yeah. So, Don't do anything is the best advice, I guess, right? right? right. Keep just, it all standard. Okay. Right. <laughs> you better let your lender know what's going on and when it's happening. We like to be planners of the loan. So if someone tells us what potentially they're going to do, then we educate and plan them throughout the whole process. Steve, I know you have this great checklist and form that you present to buyers when they're about to get involved in transactions. transaction. Absolutely, yes. One of the things you gotta do is you gotta shop for homeowner's insurance, but you need to shop it in the midst of the transaction. Correct. Because the rates are affected by the And if you have a home and car together, it's a better rate. Here's the other thing. Let's say that you shop the insurance and it's outrageous on this house and your insurance agent says, well, that house was flooded. You may not want to buy that house. Correct. That's part of your diligence. But doesn't the seller have to disclose? Well, let's just say it's a HUD repo and the seller doesn't know. I do always remember remind people that even if they get a quote now, they can always change insurance down the road. This is another thing that happens. One of the, the don'ts is don't bring a suitcase full of cash <laughs> to the closing. One of the questions we get a lot of is, what does it matter where I come up with the money? Right. And, and we're concerned on that because we want to make sure it's not another loan out there. When a buyer's shopping for loans and their credit's pulled multiple times, sometimes they say, well, there's no effect on your FICO score. And other like, well, there's some effect. But what's the story on that? Technically, it's within a two-week period, 14 days. If like companies pull your credit, then there's no hit to your FICO score. Okay. If you order your own credit score, there's going to be no inquiry against you. Excellent. Okay. If you have a car company or a mortgage company pull it, that's going to affect your score. Steve, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. Thank you for having me again. Thanks for listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. Please tune in every week and help us heal the Southern Nevada market one home at a time.